it's pretty much seemed like you are a PhD student. So. What about the shift to embodied AI? Uh-huh. I mean, a lot of companies are getting into humanoid robots. So yeah. What's what's your view? It's uh, also it's a very uh, uh, interesting interesting phenomenon, I would say, because if you look at AI thirty years ago, not mentioned about fifty years ago, AI is uh, very uh, specific. I would say it's a very narrowed area. So at that time, AI is AI. Nature language is nature language, and the computer vision is computer vision, and the robotics, the robotics, that's, that's a different discipline, okay. Mm. But today, that AI become a big basket, okay. Mm. So, so the person who work on the nature language say, okay, we're working on the AI, which is true today, okay. So, so I think the, 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 that, that, that you, have to, you have to make sure the robotics is the robotics, okay. And uh, so what I see is robotics, whether you call robotics is AI or not, I'm not sure. But uh, whatever AI produced could be deployed uh, in the robotics. That's true, OK. Mm. And uh, so that's different things. I would say the robotics is, is a very different uh, field that has uh, fundamental technology is different. Mm. And, uh, but they need the AI. Mm. So it's, it's more like, OK, the, 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 if the car is a car and uh, you have the diesel engine before, but today that we have EV cars, okay, mm. and uh, so engine is different. Mm. Uh, so for me, just the AI provides a different engine for the robotics. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking about robotics, okay, yeah. How do you see China's AI landscape then evolving over the coming months or, or years? 